Welcome back to TradeSmart. Today we are about to explore an incredibly powerful objective trading strategy that revolves around the smart money concept of liquidity grabs. And let me assure you, this isn't just about cherry picking a few successful trades. I thoroughly backtested this strategy 100 times and the results are amazing. Trust me, despite its simplicity, this strategy holds exceptional profit potential. Before we dive into the strategy, let's take a moment to understand what a liquidity grab truly means. In the trading world, liquidity is like the lifeblood that keeps everything flowing smoothly. It represents the ease with which an asset can be bought or sold without significantly impacting its price. When an asset lacks liquidity, trading it with high volume becomes challenging. A liquidity grab occurs when big players such as banks and hedge funds, usually referred to as smart money, armed with substantial capital and in-depth market insights, steps in. Their main goal is to fill their big positions, and in order to do that, they need to find areas where many orders are placed. And where are these areas? Right below support or above resistance levels. These orders are stop losses and stop orders. Now, here's where things get interesting. First, smart money needs to push the price to these areas, take all the stop losses and trigger all the stop orders in order to fill their positions. And then, they push the price to the opposite side to make a profit and as a consequence, make the retail lose. But today's strategy aims to take advantage of the smart money and copy their liquidity graph strategy as accurately as possible. In my opinion, using a strategy that follows the smart money is one of the most reliable ways to trade. That's why we've been increasingly focused on smart money concepts such as fair value gaps, liquidity grabs, and the upcoming strategy like the order block strategy. To ensure you don't miss out on these valuable strategies, be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell. In this video, I will guide you through a complete objective rules-based strategy specifically designed for the EURUSD 15-minute chart. We will be utilizing a free trading view indicator that accurately identifies liquidity grabs and provides precise trade signals. Throughout this video, I will walk you through every step of this amazing strategy from understanding the indicators and their signals through risk management, backtesting and showing you the results with the strategy ranking sheet included. And by the end of the video, you will be equipped with a trading strategy that can help you capitalize on liquidity grabs. Without further ado, let's get right into it. For this strategy, first of all, open up TradingView and set up the EURUSD 15 minute chart. Once you got that, let's add our entry signal indicator, which can detect liquidity grabs accurately. Open up the indicators tab and type in ICT SM Trades. Add this one to your chart. This indicator has six different components. It has these diamonds, these X signs, these tightly dotted lines, these loosely dotted lines, these green or red boxes, and the MSS signal. Let's go over them one by one. A green diamond signals that there is liquidity beneath it. As I mentioned earlier, liquidity is placed below or above support levels. Here you can see that the price touched this level two times so potentially there will be liquidity zones under it. And that is signaled with this dotted line and the diamonds. For a valid liquidity grab and then an expected move to the other side, we need to see that the liquidity grab occurs. And as you can see, this red candle just broke the support level into the area where we expect to be liquidity. And that is signed with this X value. After we suspect a liquidity grab, we want a confirmation of that. And that is when the price breaks and closes above the recent swing high in case of long position. Why? Because if the price would have continued its move to the downside, we would know that this is not a real liquidity grab. After the break of this recent high occurs with a candle close, we get an MSS long entry signal, which means market structure shift. Besides that, the smart money moves usually leaves behind a fair value gap or an imbalance that I talked about in a previous smart money concept video and that is signaled with this green box. So what do we do now? After we got an MSS signal, we can enter into a long position. And as you can see, this trade is a perfect example. Here is a short example. First we see the red diamonds and the dotted line printed. This means that above this area, there is liquidity. Shortly after that, we can see a red candle that just touched into these liquidity areas, then had a strong move to the downside. Finally, we need a confirmation that smart money wants to move the price further down. 
and that happens when the recent swing low will be broken with a candle close. As you can see, here is the recent swing low level, and here is a break of that level with a candle close. It is labeled with the red MSS entry signal. After we got the entry signal, we can enter into a short position. And as you can see, this indicator was right again. Here I have to mention that with these type of indicators, first always check if they repaint or not. And what do I mean by that? Let's mark the important points of this liquidity grab. Here we get the first diamond, the second, here is the X label, which means that there is the liquidity grab, and here is the MSS signal. Now use the bar replay function and let's see where are those signals are printed. Here we should get our first diamond, but as you can see, we didn't get that one yet. Why? Because the indicator doesn't know if this will be a support level or the price will continue moving down. So moving on, at this white line, we should get the second diamond, but still nothing. A few candles later, this will be our liquidity grab, but still no signal. And this is the point where we should get the MSS signal as the recent swing high has been broken with a candle close. So now you might think that this is a useless repainting indicator, but let's see what happens one candle later. As you can see, now the MSS sign is printed. It is printed right after this candle has closed and the next candle has opened. Why? Because until this candle is not closed, we can know for 100% that this candle will break and close above the recent swing high. So we would get the signal at the open of this candle. As I was testing this strategy and I tried to make 100% sure that we won't fall into a repainting indicator trap, I entered into every position at the close of the candle after the signal candle. So right here. And entering this way gave me exceptionally good results. So with this strategy we won't enter at the close of the signal candle, nor at the open of the next candle, but at the close of the next candle. This way we can be 100% sure that we don't fall into the repaint trap. Ok, now you know how this amazing indicator works. But for a strategy we need to know where to put our stop loss and our take profit levels. So for that purpose I added the NNFX ATR. This one. I also modified its settings a bit. I set the X value, which is the length of the ATR, to 80 and the SL value to 2. I also went to the style tab and unticked the buy TP, the sell TP and the main ATR. Finally, I changed the line styles to step line and then colored them white. Now at this current setup, these bands represent a 2 times ATR stop loss distance from each candle's close. And we are going to use these ATR levels as stop losses. So in case of this position, I would have put my stop loss right here. And the take profit would have been a 1 to 1 risk reward ratio. As you can see, this trade would have been still profitable, but with a rigid stop loss like this, we would have left a lot of profits on the table. I also backtested this strategy with this setup, and out of 100 trades, it gave me 62 winners and 38 losers, which is still good results, but not as good as my final strategy. To make sure that we take full advantage of these moves, we need to add one last indicator, which is going to be the super trend indicator. Add this one to your chart. I also modified a few settings of the super trend, so it moves just like the NNFX ATR would. I changed the ATR period to 80, the source to close, and the ATR multiplier to 2. Now what you can see here, each time the NNFX ATR moves to a higher level, the super trend will update itself and follow the latest highest point of the NNFX ATR. The super trend will be or stop loss. So the rules of a long position with the final strategy are the following. First we need to see an MSS signal. Then we will enter into a long position at the close of the candle after the signal candle. The stop loss will be placed at the lower NNFX ATR line which is a 2 times ATR distance. And the first day profit will be at a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio level. 
Once this level is reached, we will take off 50% of our profits and let the other 50% open until the super trend indicator prints a sell signal. And that won't happen until this point. As you can see, now instead of a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio trade, we had a 2.37 risk to reward ratio. Now let's see one short example, then I will go over the 100 trade backtest and show you the results. Here you can see a valid short entry. First we get a red MSS signal, so we will enter into a short position at the close of the next candle. Stop loss will be placed at the upper NNFX ATR line and the first take profit level will be at a 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio level. That level was hit right here. So we took off 50% of the profits and let the 50% of the position still open. We will exit the full position once we get a buy signal from the super trend. So with this trade we would have exited the second half of the position right here. And this would have been a 1 to 2.5 risk to reward ratio level. Now you know how a liquidity grab works and also how this strategy works. If you have any questions, drop it down into the comment section. And now let's see the 100 trade backtest. If you want to get access to our highly optimized and customizable premium trading view scripts that are designed for trading automation and are already proven to be profitable on live market data, check out our Patreon page and become a Smart Trader tier member. By becoming our Patreon supporter, you will also get access to the TradeSmart Discord, where you can exchange ideas with other like-minded traders who have already profited using our automated scripts, and you can also connect with us, the TradeSmart team. Get started now by clicking the link in our description or the pop-up in the top right corner. And the results are in! After 100 trades on the EURUSD 15 minute chart using 1% risk per trade and the variable risk to reward ratio, this strategy had 58 winners, 38 losers and 4 break even trades. This brings the strategy to a total net profit of 39% within a span of just 74 days with an outstanding profit factor of 2.02. .02. Imagine if we had used a 2% risk per trade. The strategy could have generated a net profit of 78% with a daily profit exceeding 1% which is truly extraordinary. Looking at the equity curve, we can see a stable and upward trajectory with only one significant pullback. This pullback resulted in a drawdown of approximately 9%, which falls within my preferred maximum drawdown tolerance of 10 to 20%. Now let's see how this strategy ranks among the more than 70 other strategies I have tested so far. Based on net profit after 100 trades, the liquidity graph strategy secured an impressive 9th place out of 75 strategies. And when it comes to the ranking sheet, which is based on daily profit in percentage, it claimed the 10th spot. Well, what do you think of this strategy? I'm eager to hear your thoughts and suggestions on how we can further improve it. Feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you're interested in exploring another smart money concept strategy that focuses on imbalances or fair value gaps, be sure to check out this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more content like this. And with that said, thank you all for watching, have an amazing day and see you in the next video.